doing my very first backpacking trip by myself. It'll be one or two nights. Uh, I wanted it to be two, but I have to be back pretty early on Saturday morning, so it might just be doing an overnighter. I'm doing a section of the Appalachian Trail, Rock Gap to Siler Bald, because I love me some bald face mountains. I'm prepared for another rainstorm. It's been thundering off and on today, so the thunder just got a little bit worse. And I went ahead and put on my rain cover, so I'm prepared. This will be my second time in the rain. And uh, I'm beginning to appreciate it, actually, because you get really hot and tired walking for miles with 40 pounds on your back. And the rain is really refreshing. It just comes for like an hour, cools you off, and then you're good to go. My. I actually haven't convinced myself to go on a solo hike. There was a time where I thought about it because I couldn't get anyone else to join me and I chickened out because it was a little bit more challenging than I'd ever done so chickened out that was like a year ago and then just recently I finished my first 30 mile hike with some friends and that was that was just amazing for me I don't really have a lot of faith in myself because I've run into a lot of health problems that have kind of kept me stuck in that mentality that I can't do this I'm too weak it's not for me 
So that was an accomplishment in and of itself for me, just the fact that I made it 30 something miles in three and a half days. But that was with friends and I considered going on solo hikes. Well then I saw one of my friends go on a solo hike right after we did that trip. And that was his first backpacking trip ever. And I was like, excuse me, if he's already gone on his solo trip and he's just been backpacking one time, and I've been backpacking like four times now or something like that, well, why can't I do it? So I had another weekend when I got indecisive about it and just ended up kind of getting stuck not being able to decide on a trail because I was being a perfectionist. Then finally this week I decided it's time, I'm going. Well, then I pull up the weather and I'm like, it's raining every day, every day, every day. And I'm gonna get, oh my god, what if I get up there and I'm getting soaked and it's fucking raining the whole time and I'm stuck in my tent and it's hot and, oh, what if this, what if that? And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go. It could happen. I could just walk back to the car if it, nine miles, just walk back nine miles in the rain, you know, go home if I really don't want to stay out in it. It was just a little more intimidating by myself to think about because I haven't really slept through a rainstorm yet. I've walked through one. But then I spoke to the lady on the phone and she said it's usually an afternoon storm. So here I am going for it regardless on my first solo hike and it's about to rain and I'm actually really excited about it. So never let the weather or your doubts ruin what you want to do. Go for it. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later.